Shalom, I'm so glad you're here to create Jewish art with me. I'm going to show you today how to draw the Moses Montefiore windmill in Jerusalem. This is an iconic building in the skyline of Jerusalem. It was built as a flour mill to grind up flour in 1857 by Moses Montefiore. And for a long time it had a brass dome on it and the windmill, um, these parts right here, it couldn't actually move. And then in 2012 it was restored and now it actually does um, move around. So I'm going to show you how to draw it uh, today. So we're going to start with our paper in portrait mode, which is vertically how I have it here. I'm going to draw with a black marker so you can see it well, but you could of course use a pencil and eraser at home so you can make any changes. Let's draw the dome part at the top. We're going to draw an upside down U or a frowny face like this, and then a slightly upward curving line to try to give the illusion that it's rounded. Now it used to be totally rounded before it was restored, but now it has sort of a pointy part up here. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw that, and I'm just going to fill it in like it has a thick outline just in black like that. Okay, so now for the sides of the windmill, they flare out slightly at the bottom. So this is roughly a cylinder shape, but it angles out at the bottom ever so slightly like that. For the bottom, let's also have a curved line. If you want to draw it straight, that's perfectly fine. That's more of a simpler version. I'm going to draw it here, slightly curving. All right. So now I'm going to have um, three windows. One, two, and I'm going to make this sort of a more current version here. On this drawing, there's one down below. I'm just going to darken that. Okay, if you want to throw on some stones, the building now is all white. So you could have a few um, stones going this way. They're horizontal, so I'm going to draw a few of them just every so often, just to give the idea that it's bricks, but they're painted white, so I'm just going to draw the outline like that, just to make it a little interesting to look at. Okay, so now we're going to draw these big parts of the windmill, the arms that move. Draw a straight line diagonally, and another one over here, and as if this line continued, skip behind the building and draw it like that. Perpendicularly, Draw a lot of lines close together, but don't go on your building. And try to draw them all the same. If you've made some shorter, just go back and straighten them out. And these are the parts of the windmill that move around. Today, the windmill is not grinding flour, but originally it did. The wind would rotate these arms and it would be a, a wind-powered machine to grind up the flour. Okay, and now you can lightly connect the sides. Okay, and before the restoration, there wasn't this part here. It was only a, a, a brass metal top. But I'm going to show you how to draw that. There's a part on the windmill now that actually rotates in the wind. Let's do a X and then a line in between, sort of like an asterisk. Put a triangle shape on each end. This is not exactly how it looks like, but we're just trying to give the impression in our drawing. This is not a real exact replica. And then make a line here that connects it, and you can make a triangle shape on the bottom to have it flare out. And there you go. It's a white building, so I'm going to leave it mostly white. I'm going to pick up one of my light tan markers. Uh, if you don't have that, you could use brown or gray, or a light peach, just to give it some interest here, and a little bit of shading. 
I might color in a few bricks, not everyone. And if you wanted to draw a little shading off to the side like so, that's a nice touch. I hope you enjoy drawing this windmill in Jerusalem. Have a wonderful Yom Yerushalayim, Jerusalem Day. Thank you for joining us.